Hey guys, Luton here, and uh, we're going to kill two birds with one stone, right? Hammerhead and hover tanks, double H, right? Okay, the hover tanks. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew from before I even played, I knew how this was going to be. I saw it, and the first thing I thought of was physics. <laughs> these things are hilarity. We had so much fun with these things tonight, it was so funny. Uh, you'll see shortly coming up, but man, these things are ridiculous. Um, they're, they're great and awful in equal measure. Um, let's talk a little bit about the map first, okay. Hammerhead. Uh, it's an interesting map. It's pretty good. Uh, it's interesting, just like everything I always say is interesting. Um, it, it's, it's good. It's kind of... It's armoured kill, really. Um, which bothers me. But it, it is, unfortunately. It's armoured kill. It's a massive map very very open um, each base acts as a kind of fighting ground the two central bunker bases on CB are the kind of internal sections and they tend to be held by the team that's losing um, if you decide that you want to cap those internal bases and you're gonna leave people there that basically condemns you to losing the round because the you know if you dedicate like a third to you know I don't know half of your team in that central base because people like to be in there it's nice and safe it reminds them of lockers it reminds them of lockers where they can sit covering doorways and pew 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 you know so basically meanwhile the people the battlefield players <laughs> the battlefield players are outside doing what they do right and uh, I tell you what I've got some other gameplay uh, of this map which I'll post separately because I want to show a kind of like you know on the move battlefield gameplay rather than just this hover tank stuff um, but basically yeah the, the, you can get some actually really good battlefield gameplay going on around these things <laughs> look, look at them like this super <laughs> oh my god these things are so it, it, it gets better this is nothing this is nothing nothing um, <laughs> But overall, this map actually plays out pretty well. But it, but make no mistake, right? It's an armored kill map. You spend like seventy-five percent of your time driving. Look at Super. Look at Super. Super right now. He was like, "I'm gonna take out all the trees." This <laughs> is crashing through it all. I need to do some live com seriously. Uh, put put in put below what maps you want me to live com, right? And I'll I'll get some squad live com game. Look at this. At this point in the game, we were kind of like, yeah, let's just, we were, we were winning a little bit. And we were, this was the end of the evening and we were just going to have some fun. We were just like, yeah, let's just hover. Hover tanks. Watch, watch, here we go. Here we go. Super. Way. <laughs> this was so much fun. I tried to do it. I couldn't. I failed. I didn't have super skills. I couldn't do like 360. Hey. Oh, I just got a little turn. It was crap. Didn't do it at all. Didn't get the same physics going on. But these things, look at them. You can spin these things around. But uh, okay, I've got to tell you. Initially, when I got into this thing, I was like, oh, what the hell is up with this? Like, I couldn't move it because the turret doesn't move, just the whole tank moves, right? And to begin with, I really didn't like it. I was like, oh, this is, feels so weird. We were just having, we were just literally screwing around here. But actually, once you start to get to grips with it, it actually doesn't. It's not too bad. You actually can get some decent shots and kills. And, you know, I was performing not too bad. Uh, you know, we, we wrecked a few tanks and stuff, and overall it was doing pretty good. So, you know, 50-50 down the middle, You can't. it's not all bad, but it's not that fantastic. They seem pretty weak, you know, a couple of hits in the back and they're bam, they're gone. Uh, they seem a little bit weaker than, like, say, an MBT or something like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Again, it's kind of like... It's kind of like everything. I, I just feel like you can kind of take it and leave it. You know, it's not really that astonishing. It's not really that bad. Um, it depends on the situation. If people are targeting you, you get wrecked super fast. Um, but again, if you're sniping with this thing, if you're flying around with it, whatever, it's all good. I have got one thing coming up that you guys need to do on this map, and that is take the hover tank into the central corridor. Um, I only jumped out briefly, but the guys, when I drive into the sort of central section there, the guys were inside already sort of uh, trying to fight around in there. And uh, when I came in, they were like, holy crap, that tank sounds amazing. Because like when you drive in, it's all that hovers and it's like, <laughs> it just sounds like hovering like power, like when you come in. And it's it's a really awesome sound because it echoes all around inside. So it's actually pretty awesome. I also like this tank because it makes pretty colors when you pair it. Uh, it's got like this kind of blue red sort of thing going on. It's like, <laughs> so that's my other like, yeah, that's my other, uh, you know, high point of this tank makes nice colors. So that's really important, obviously, to include in my uh, sort of overview of the tank, that it makes nice colours. Oh, other thing that's really, really important, it, ha it makes cool sounds. So, like, when you get in the tank, it goes like, beep, beep, chicka, boop, boop. 
So that's also incredibly important uh, as to whether or not you actually perform well in this thing. Look at this guy there, he slides, you know, rocks it straight over these things, bam, nothing opposed. One thing that's quite good is that it doesn't have any kind of really restrictions on your momentum. So, you know, getting a bit serious right now. It doesn't really have any restrictions on momentum, so you just kind of come up to stuff and you just like cruise through it. Like I was like, I'm getting through here. Come hell or high water. There we go. Tank didn't even see me, it's too busy trying to mop up infantry. Tank driver is clearly not the brightest spot. There we go. There we go. So we're coming in here, right? There's these guys all around, all the bases. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm going to go through here. One positive thing, look, you know, when this gets damaged, you can go over here. Other tanks, if, you go, if you've got a stupid tank driver following you, right? Go through here when these things have been broken up and uh, you'll just cruise straight through. They'll splash down into the water. Uh, so it's actually really, you know, it's a good thing for you to do. Anyway, here we go. So coming up to the end here, guys, what do you think about hover tanks? So have you had some good experiences with them? Do you find them to be terrible, good, bad? What do you think? Uh, I personally, I think they're actually better than I thought. I thought they were going to be literally undrivable, but actually it turns out they're pretty good. <laughs> I started taking, they, they at this point were not too happy about us because we had been sort of reaping them a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, I'm taking some quite concentrated fire here. So I decided to get the, yeah, like really, really concentrated. I was like, get out, get out, get out. One thing that kind of sucks is you kind of can't turn back around like you would normally, so you have to just go backwards like this, which is not ideal, but there you go. And you see you got to, because it doesn't turn the turret, so you've got to just, you know, go around. Look at this guy, he's going to C4. Roadkill, my friend, obviously. Anyway, there we go. So, yep, yeah, all in all, Hammerhead. I'm going to have some more kind of tactical play coming up with this one, show you a little bit more of the map and sort of what it's got on offer and talk a little bit about some of the more specific points. That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, rate the video. Tell me what you think about hover tanks. See you next time for some more Battlefield 4.